The asset model can be customized just like any other model inside of GraphCMS. You've got a choice to add all of the different custom fields that we provide to your schema. And these can be applied directly to the asset model. If we head on over to the blog post model, we'll now add the relation to the asset in the type of an asset picker. We'll give this a name of cover image. We will not allow multiple assets, but you could if you wanted multiple cover images for your blog post. We'll then go ahead and create this field. Now that we've added a simple relation between our blog post and asset model, let's now go to the asset model and add a field. I'm going to choose the field type markdown because I want to include text and a link to the author and we'll create a caption field. You can, if you wish, choose to localize this field so you can opt to have different locales and translations for each of your asset captions. Next, we'll just simply create this field. Now that we've added this, let's head on over to our content editor and we'll begin by writing our first blog post. Let's give this a title and we'll choose to add some content. This is a rich type text content editor, so you can choose to change any of the text that you require. Then let's go ahead and create and add a new cover image. This will then open a model where we can upload a file for our asset and also give it a caption. Let's choose to upload a photo and then upload. I've opted to use an image from Unsplash, so for the caption, I want to give credit to the author. So I can paste this in here and click save and publish. This will then save the asset. Then if I go back and I can see inside of my blog post that I'm writing, we now have this relation to the cover image. If we also save and publish our blog post, we'll then be able to go ahead and create a query. Now inside of the API playground, I can make a query to get all of the blog posts. We'll make a query to get blog post title and the content, and we'll get the raw and markdown flavors of that content. And we'll also choose to get the cover image. Now we can get the URL to that image or the handle name or the size. But also if you see in the list of available fields that we have here, we now have that all important caption field. If we make a query now, you'll see that we get the title, the content in the different flavors. Then also we get that cover image, including the caption. You can then use this to display this on your website or blog post or wherever this ends up being. This caption can then be rendered as markdown.